Hello guys and welcome back to episode 3 in the series. Today is a good day. Today is where things start to get exciting. On the screen now you will see the plot of land selected for our kingdom. Today's episode will be a guided tour of the land while I straighten out the edges and lay all the foundation for the future structures. As you can see we have a lot of land to work with and it's going to be very exciting to see the kingdom develop over time episode by episode. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed putting it together. I'm feeling very motivated to get this series going so please leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe and slap that bell icon for notifications. So right now you will be able to see me closing in all the water holes that are breaking up the land, all except the largest one in the middle which I've decided to keep and transform into a lake with a bridge as a central focal point for the kingdom. It will also act as a breaker between each district of the kingdom, which is something I'll be going over shortly as we lay the foundations. I want each and every road to meet at the lake as a communal area for all. Next I begin filling in land gaps and flattening certain areas to maximise the space we have for our buildings. So you may have noticed there is also two nice rivers wrapping around the plot of land which I plan to seal off at each open end with a large gated structure. You may have noticed to the far end of the plot is a fair sized lagoon. I have the vision to turn this into a fishing docks containing decking and a stilted hut in the middle of the water. The existing village in the background there will be revamped and included in the kingdom complete with an upgraded water fountain, livestock and a few general houses also included in the village will be access to one of the rivers via decking and boats. built-up hillside currently on screen will become a plot for the rich and super rich with the largest houses and complete with personal ravine. I also plan on building one house into the side of the hill perching between the ravine and the hillside. The black circles you can see going in are to represent small guard towers that will watch over the kingdom as part of a kind of police force if you like. It will also serve as a perimeter which I may or may not close in with a wall. Next up I begin working on the outline for the lake which I will extend and transform 
As you can see I am building out from the lake as the central point to create a road map and divisions between each district. Each district is different in its own way. The purple lines signify a wealthy district that are borderline rich and can afford to live separate from the working class. I also went over each foundation and placed blocks upwards to signify how many levels the building will consist of, which will help me out later on when I begin building. Next up, the orange lines signify a community district, with the large structure in the centre serving as either a community centre or a church of some kind. Next to this, I plan to build a kind of terrace structure consisting of a pub and small shops. Different colour lines in the same district are there to show potential garden areas. The last orange foundation going in now is a large stables to house the rich and wealthy's personal horses. On to the next district. In red is the foundations for a large marketplace situated next to what will become the fishing docks and community area, complete with a couple small statues and a central fountain. So let's step it up and check out the super rich area now. The brown lines are the foundation for a handful of mansion style houses, which will be tucked up onto the hill with great views of the central lake, complete with a personal guard tower. So guys, what are you thinking so far? Drop a comment down below with any suggestions and feedback. Okay guys, so the pink lines going in now are for the area that I'm most excited to build on. These are going to consist of two mage towers and a small apprentice tower. Backing onto the community district, I plan to build a blacksmith and working class housing area. You may have already noticed I left just one hole in the ground, which I'm going to fashion into a mine entrance, right next to the blacksmith. After exploring underground, the hole actually opens up into a huge cave and it has multiple passageways underneath. As an ambitious side project, I may try to create a working minecart system in the passages below.
So as you can see guys, the districts are really starting to come together. Just a few more areas to lay out and the mapping for the kingdom will be complete and ready to build on. I started to add in some random X's for water wells across the plot. I added in an F shape on the floor to remind me of something which I've now completely forgotten. So I'm going to go with the idea that it was meant to be a large water fountain. Here I'm beginning to finish off the working district. Now it's time to move on. I'm not sure what to call this area, but the large white structure I plan to make into a library. And the more intricate structure into a possible prison or even a mayor's house. Next up, I wanted to make a more uniform area of housing. So the brown crosses show small statues and fountains and either side of those positions will be two rows of general housing. Just the last section to go in now, which will simply be slightly larger general housing, backing onto the other general houses, complete with a couple of shared gardens and individual entrances. So there we have it guys, the layout is complete. I'm absolutely pumped to start developing this plot. What are your thoughts on it? Is there anything you would add or take away? Please leave a like, subscribe and slap the bell icon if you're enjoying the series so far. 
and join me again in episode 4. Enjoy your day, take care and I'll see you in the next one.